There might have been some instances in your life where you're seeing a movie and decoding it by yourself, the movie does not give you any answers but you're trying to find it when it feels like you've genuinely seen a movie. So, 2018's drama mystery film, Burning falls in the same category, and I guess you all will agree to this that Burning was first of its kind in recent years. Other than that I didn't find any movie like that, all those which are, were of early 20s or 90s. So, today we're here to find the answer of the main question of the movie, Burning, that. Did Ben really kill Amy? Or was he innocent? So let's begin the video. So, first we will look at the all the clues given in the movie, related to the question. So, the first clue which was given, is Ben's profession, he says that he plays, and also, says that, business and pleasure are the same profession. By this we can conclude two things, first, that he's the killer, and, after killing, someone he sells their body parts and earns a lot money, and by killing someone he gets, pleasure too. And the second, that he's a genuinely a businessman, and he enjoys his business, but it just feels completely baseless, because there is literally no evidence related to his business about what he do and all. But the first one seems pretty accurate, and there's another evidence to support that. And in in the same scene, at one point he says, seeing someone cry fascinates him a lot. And after Haimi's disappearance he quickly found another girl. Which are some solid proofs of him being a killer. But let's look at the other clues too. Now, we all know that before disappearing, she once called Jong Su. Where we hear her voice, like she's running away from something. Now, that might be Ben, or some other guy, but possibility of being Ben is the highest. Because if you remember then, when Jong Su once asked Ben about Haimi's disappearance, then he said that he don't know about it, and in the last line he said, Haimi once said that she thought of Jong Su as someone special, she said he's the only person in the world she can trust, which made Ben jealous, well, in the conversation, it didn't. Felt like a big concern but, that's the point where, everything went wrong. That's the point when Ben decided to kill Heen, so maybe rather than being jealous, it made him frustrate too, and he screamed at her, or something like that, and that's why. Heen was running away. Because, Ben had been became violent. And right after, that he killed her. Now this is the most interesting clue given in the movie, so, we all know that, in Hey, Mi's absence, Jong Su used to go to her house and feed Boyle, but we never really saw her. And some women's in the movie also told that she's good at making fake stories, but this doesn't seem fake, because if it's fake then why does she have cat food in her house? And most importantly, cat poop. Lol. She might be good story maker, but she doesn't seem dumb at all. And why would a random cat will go to someone with the name of Boyle? So, again, all evidences point straight to Ben. Now, the most important clue in the movie, the greenhouse story, so, what exactly does? The greenhouse story indicates, what does it exactly mean? Because as Ben said his hobby is to burn a greenhouse down. So maybe, here greenhouse is symbolized as his victims, his all murders. What I mean is, that by burning greenhouse, he means killing someone, and he even said that he does it quite often, and while the conversation between Jong Su and Ben, Ben said that she disappeared like a smoke, which directly indicates to the burning greenhouse, like as he burned her, and her soul disappeared from this world, like a smoke. And there are some other evidences like, hey Mi's watch and Ben's bathroom, and her's room being extremely tidy, where it always used to be a little messed which straight points at Ben. So, all the evidences in the video clearly indicates Ben is the killer, but if he's really the killer then, why did he came at the location where Jong Su said and asked about Haimi despite knowing he killed her, now this is something which has bugged me a lot. But I think I have an answer. So, if you might have noticed then, in the whole movie, Jong Su has been very defensive and had occurred things very safely, so maybe just because of that, like us, Ben thought, Jong Su can't be aggressive, where he'll kill him. But we all know that, love can make you do as crazy things as possible. 
And, in the last when he burned Ben, that was symbolizing something. And that was movie's plot itself, small hunger and great hunger, where great hunger means finding the meaning of life, the answers, everything, and the small hunger means getting rid of your normal hunger of food. Where Haimi had got the meaning of life, as she traveled to Africa, she got her meaning of life, her purpose, and getting naked while doing the dance, is something that a person like that only would do, but after that she was broke, and she needed to get out of small hunger, so that's why, most of the times, she was with Ben, as he was hella rich. But in case of Jong Su, he didn't had any problem in small hunger, but he knew nothing about great hunger, he was constantly trying to get the answers. But he was getting nothing. So in the end he burned everything in frustration, as he doesn't want to live in guilt. So he just gave up, and with Ben, he burned all his ambition, personality, and moved on with a new approach in life. Like a fresh start to be exact. And in the end, as Jong Su was completely restarting everything from zero, he was naked, just like a newborn baby, who also starts from zero. So, that was my analysis of burning. It is possible though, that you might have a different perspective, related to the movie, which is fine, because the movie is made, for that kind of purposes only. Well, if my video has even been slightly informative to you, then please do let me know in the comments, I'll be really happy, reading it. So that's all for today's video everyone, good day.